Leo, Leo, welcome. Leo, I'm using a new deck for you guys today. Uh, we're still going to do a general read. We're going to look at your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll clarify all those cards. And then at the end, we'll pull three more cards around the read just to make sure we have it all on the table. Hmm. The tower falling out. But let's see what's going on for you in your current energy, Leo. Looks to be the Eight of Wands. Um, Eight of Wands. <sighs> Things are starting to move forward for you currently. Uh, Page of Swords is the desire. Page of Swords uh, is usually, well, sometimes it can be a couple things. It could be information coming in, but it can also be delayed. Uh, we'll clarify. And then the outcome is the Nine of Swords. So, anxiety. What's working for you, though, is the Eight of Swords. And what you need to be aware of is the Two of Swords. Wow. A lot of in-your-head stuff going on. So the Eight of Wands. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands in your current energy. High Priestess. Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> well, whatever is happening seems to be that communication has come in or that things have really just sort of opened up and start moving forward for you. Maybe there, for some of you, there were a few things that you didn't know what was going on within a particular partnership and you lost, you lost out. Now this page of swords, we have the king of cups the Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So this Page of Swords, I almost get that somebody has been... I almost get that this person, whoever this was in your current energy, you're kind of hoping that they're spying on you. For some of you, it's kind of like, mm, I'm just kind of hoping for some downtime, almost a delay. We have the King of Cups, the Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like this is a really emotional time, possibly, in your desires where, you know what, you've been flooded and you just kind of want to put uh, your guard up and let things shift and go where they may. Now, the outcome being the Nine of Swords, it's clarified by the Queen of Swords, the King of or sorry, the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Nine of Swords talks about anxiety. Um, just not really sure what to do, but there's good that comes out of that. As you can see with this, there's actually a flower that's showing up here with, within the rays of the sun. So this is almost like a test, I would say. The Queen of Swords being very uh, decisive of what you try to do and really take no prisoners. Page of Pentacles just tried to pop out. The Five of Wands is learning and the Knight of Wands is taking that action forward. Move in, move out, or move on. And so what we see from this is even though there's this anxiety and discontent, it really causes you to learn and take action towards things. It may even cause a bit of anger, <clears throat> almost righteous anger. Now this Eight of Swords, this is self-restraint. Uh, this feels like, <sighs> I almost wanna say you're hiding behind something. It's like this individual has their hands over their face and they're hiding behind that. 
uh, just not willing to see what's in front of them. The swords are in front of them. It, they can still move in, in either uh, of the other directions. We have the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the F Four of Pentacles. I almost get like frozen, frozen in place. Uh, something could be happening that's good underneath, but it seems like you're just trying to protect yourself at this point uh, from really going into anything. <clears throat> maybe, maybe there was a, a relationship that fell apart and you're refusing to see it. So we have the Two of Swords, and it's clarified by Judgment, Death, and the Hanged Man. So whatever this is, you need to be aware of that not making a decision, a decision can be made for you and force change upon you. And then you'll have to sort it out. The last three cards... We have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the King of Swords. So we do have the King and Queen of Swords on the table here. And so that does lead me to believe that there is a significant relationship that's affecting this situation. The Six of Pentacles talks about gifts coming in. Uh, it also, in some of the other decks, it talks about reciprocity. And I see this kind of sitting here as there's gifts for you all around you. Whether you choose to accept them or not, with the Four of Cups here, is up to you. And with the King of Swords, they may not be coming in the way that you would like them to. Or the way that you had planned for these to be seen. But that's what I have for you today, Leo. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, I would invite you to do so. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.